going on y'all how's it going this evening hopefully y'all doing good um, RJ got to play a little bit with RJ earlier that was pretty cool uh, hopefully uh, y'all had fun in his stream hopefully y'all got notifications today I know that uh, notifications have been uh, not going out particularly 100% for a lot of people and 100% for some people so I don't know hopefully uh, YouTube gets that fixed so that y'all can be notified when we stream. If you received a notification from me, let me know in the stream. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see if any notifications went out for my stream. So we'll go up here to the top of the list real quickly, say hi to a few people, and then we'll get started. 18 holes on the main account. Steve Walker, John, Henry, David, Brad, what's going on buddy? Alright man, sounds good. Annabelle, how's it going? Charles, Teeps, Brian Robinson, Larry Hutchins, Christopher Miller, uh, let's see, uh, Keith Squires, Rendon, thank you very much, sir, we're going to try, buddy, Karen Hay, how's it going, thank you, Sebastian, how's it going tonight, sir, Mr. Randy, Stib, how's it going, thank you very much, John Bell, what's up, buddy, thank you, what's up, Daryl, how's it going, my friend? Let's see. Uh, what's up, Brian? Mr. Killer B. How's it going? And anybody else? Rick McIntosh. What's going on? You didn't get notified, but you're here, man. Thank you for looking out for the stream, buddy. I appreciate that. Sebastian said no notification. Clint got a notification today. <laughs> Greg K. What's up, buddy? And uh, we're caught up on the list now. 
Justin Ward, what's going on? Uh, Mr. St. Louis Warrior, what's going on? What's going on, uh, Aaron? How's it going, buddy? Got a notification, awesome. So it's like half are getting notifications and half aren't. I mean, I'm not sure what the purpose of notifications are if they don't send them out to everybody. That's just, uh, I don't know. Tater Tot, what's up, buddy? Michael Bowles, how's it going? Justin Staggs. Gerald Clisson. Sandy Bell. Sandy letting Lit know that, man, he is freaking just a gold machine, that boy. It's two golds in a row. It might be more than that. Um, I know for sure that he's gotten two golds in a row now. That's pretty cool. Justin Ward got a notification. What's up, uh, Geek? Dilly dilly to you, sir. Deadpool, what's going on? Thank you very much. Alright, so we're doing main 18 today. Um, we're going to try to make something happen here. This is, uh... I wouldn't say I've like done like absolutely terrible in this tournament, but this just hasn't been like a tournament for the ages, for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you um, are not getting a notification, definitely check to make sure that uh, the little bell icon has got the little marks going out for it. If you click it once, turn it off, and click it again, make sure to set it so that it notifies you for everything, just to make sure. Uh-oh. All right, Aaron, man. Sounds good, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, Sandy. Let's on fire. Another gold medal. That's, that's just awesome. That is just awesome. Ryan Daigle. What's going on, buddy? T-Bone in the house. What's up, bud? All right. So, hole number one. Um, we're going to... Uh, Playing for the ace in this tournament. I'm pretty sure um, Tim's already posted on the 19th hole. But if, if the post hasn't been made on the 19th hole, I'd appreciate it. If someone could post it in the other various um, 19th hole Chan clats that are uh, clan chats that are out there. I'd appreciate that too. Francois, what's going on, dude? Johnny Doe, how's it going? Adam P, what up? What up? Danny R, thank you. I'm scared to look down at my, my tablet because so many people are entering the room and uh, I'm not seeing, and I don't want to miss saying hi to them. You like that shirt, Charles? Brendan's uh, wife made it for me and sent it. It's got the nice logo of the 19th hole right here. So, that was pretty cool. Alright. So let's go in, make some switches to our bag, and uh, we'll get started. I'm going with the quarterback and kingmaker for this one. <clears throat> Those of you that don't know, um, Golf Clash Notebook was released today for iOS. Yes, iOS, y'all heard me. I'm not 100% sure if it's available like straight through the store. I think you have to go to um, the Golf Clash Notebook website uh, and access to, to the link there. I might be wrong on that, but not 100% sure. <laughs> John, I, I'm, I'm pretty much right there in the same boat with you, man. Andy, what's up? Thank you. Epic GC, thank you. One thing before I start, I do want to say thank you to everybody that's in the chat. Um, and anybody that watches this after the live stream, I want to thank you. Um, set a record for myself personally in this tournament. Um, not on my play, but as far as like views go for my videos. Um, over 25,000 views uh, combined on my videos uh, for this tournament. So that uh, is awesome. That like includes the walkthroughs, uh, the playthroughs, the information video, and everything. So definitely thank y'all very much for that support. 25,000 views in a, a week is, for me, is, is solid. Um, I, I never expected anything like that. So thank you all very much. Hopefully y'all are 
um, getting something out of them. I would assume you are, or not that many people would look at them. So uh, yeah, definitely awesome. Thank you very much. We're gonna treat. Go. We're gonna try to build off of that for the future. What's up, Lit? What's up, buddy? Good job on that uh, that awesome round you shot today. And uh, keep them fingers crossed. Keep them fingers crossed that nobody sneaks up on you. <laughs> But uh, you probably got the gold, man. That's awesome. Congratulations, dude. Way to go, man. I need to get you in my. I need to get you in my clan. I think your mom would let you join my clan. I need those. Uh, I need those clan points, man. <laughs> What's up, RJ? Edward, how's it going? How's it going? Well, thank you very much, Emily. And how are you doing tonight, Mr. Tank? What's going on? Um, Tank sent me a PM. Have a look. All right. Well, let me look real quickly here. Let me look real quickly. I know the notifications didn't get sent out, so I'm trying to kind of give people time to to get in the chat. Um, Tank, it's not showing up yet. It, it may be like in my filtered messages or something. I'm not sure why it's not showing up, but I will check it out after the stream is over. RJ had a great round from what I've heard. I heard he went and killed it. Thank you, Cube. All right, Kingmaker. Quarterback. Um, we're going to put in the, uh, the Sniper. Because that's what we'll need for a hole three anyway. And we want to make sure that we have the correct bag in here. All right, we're good to go. Okay. We are set. We're going to go ahead and get started here. we got 18 holes to play on the main account. Well, thank you very much, Lit Man. It's an honor uh, to be able to help you, dude. Thank you very much for uh, your nice messages, buddy. Awesome job, Ian. Minus 29 in pro. Still sitting... In second place, wow, you must have had a, a really good bracket. You're sitting in second place with a minus 29. Mr. Hersey, how's it going? Awesome to see you in here tonight. Minus 28 and expert with two albatrosses. Dang, you killed it, dude. Nice job. I hope to be able to get a minus 28. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Alright. Four up, two left for this shot. Uh, plus two. I like that right there. Uh, 7.7 7 rings with the one to one adjustment. So that's six. 7.7. 7. Great to the right. We did that earlier and went up on the bankment. And not this time. This one could be close. This one could be close. Let's see. Just right of the hole. Yep. Ah, that great right cost me. With the perfect, we might have had that one. I've been seeing, uh, well, Tim got it last night. Uh, he was the first one that I know of to get it uh, without, like, hitting a great and getting it. And then um, Steve Walker got it with that adjustment right there. So it's that plus two number that is the key. But you got to hit a perfect. You got to hit a perfect on that one. What's going on, Moofy? Moofy Heinmiller. 
Well, you are new. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, uh, I assume you play Golf Clash. If you're looking for a community, definitely check us out on Facebook at Golf Clash 19th Hole. 2,800 members, definitely a good place to go uh, as a new member or you know, a new player or even a, a player that's been around for a while. It's just a good place to go to ask questions, get answers, uh, and be involved in a good community. And that's what we, uh, we strive for there. I'm, I'm sure every once in a while there's uh, some individuals that uh, may not be very family-like and uh, we try to deal with it as quickly as possible. Sometimes it's, uh, it slips through the crack, but uh, we definitely try our best to, to stay on top of things in there. Got a good mod team. Uh, they work hard and do what they think is best for the family. So, But definitely welcome to the channel. If you like the, uh, the content here, definitely hit that subscription button and uh, set up your notification so that you receive uh, um, notifications when I put out content. I do rookie pro expert walkthroughs um, before the tournament starts. I do all kinds of tournament videos during the tournament. So if you're looking for that kind of content, it's definitely the, the place to be. All right, hold two. Um, Thor's hammer. And we'll be going with the Kingmaker Ball. And my boys are about to get their butts whooped, I think. Hammer is getting ready to throw it down up there. She's giving out the warnings. Alright, so that's what I like right there. It looks good. Oh, Steve so played that at plus zero. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Uh oh, Nightbot in the house. Hey, Nightbot, you be nice. Don't don't be don't be banning nobody tonight. <laughs> What's up, Joel? How's it going, buddy? All right, we're ready. Plus ten. I apologize for the cough I have. Just uh, can't get rid of it. <laughs> so. You will hear me coughing and sporadically through the stream. All right, uh, five top and one left. Seven point eight. Play this one at max. So this is going to be a five point two uh, ring adjustment. We're going to play this one just into the rough right here. I'm actually going to play a little bit over here, just into the rough line, and five rings, 5.2 rings, and I just need to hit a perfect here. Great left, I'd rather be great left than great right for sure. Let's see what we get here. Looks like a good bounce. Oh yeah, there we go. Get off me, hole. You don't own me. <laughs> that, hole's, that hole has been my nemesis this tournament. It feels good to get it here right off the bat. Uh, if you see what I did, I, I definitely moved my target farther to the left. Um, that takes me out of contention for the hole in one, but it definitely gives me the chance to be great left or great right and uh, not have to deal with that uh, bunker to the right side of the, of the green. So I kind of gave up a little bit there in order to secure myself hopefully a, a, a better chance at the eagle. <laughs> what, what, would you, what did you watch, Greg? <laughs> what was it about? Different little, little games? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Joel says eight's been his nemesis. I think eight's been a lot of people's nemesis, unless they have really good clubs. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan agrees with me about this all being a nemesis. What's up, buddy? Thanks for joining us, buddy.
All right, we're gonna bring this one back here. Put out the little bit of top spin on it, and we're just gonna aim this one about left at left middle and hit it. I'm not gonna uh, get too technical on trying to adjust it like what, say the um, notebook said to adjust at 1.5 bars left. Now. Um, one thing that I think I've been making a mistake on when I adjust like that is I'm adjusting from the left edge and not from the center of the cup. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure I, I trust uh, Notebook's measurements for uh, the Endbringer because I've missed quite a few chips with the Endbringer by going according to their measurements. But uh, I think we'll just play more of an eyeball on those types of measurements and I, uh, it looked like it worked out better right there. So, happy with that. Happy to get the eagle on too. That's always a great way to start the round. I'm sure a lot of people have been playing uh, this tournament and starting with the birdie on two and being like, wow, crap, that's just not the way I want to start my round. Brandon Dellinger, what's up, buddy? Good to see you in here, sir. Hopefully you had a good and productive weekend. James Mercer, how's it going? Hopefully you're doing good. Dire Wolf's got some nice uh, nice badges right there. Three Pro Golds, very nice. Bobby says, sitting 16th, one shot out of the top 10th, and left three shots out there due to great shots that cost me second. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. Vince, what's up? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Minecraft, you are a nine and you have 1,300 trophies? Wow, nice. Good job, dude. Very nice. All right, uh, hole three. Hole three is next. <clears throat> um, we'll be playing that one with the Apocalypse on this account. We've played it with the Apocalypse the whole week, so no reason to change now. We got the Sniper 10, mm, Kingmaker Ball. We will fix up our notebook app here before we enter the hole. That way we don't get caught adjusting quickly. 20% downhill for this shot. There he is. What's up, Aaron? Thank you very much for re-upping on your membership. There's a boom in the uh, on the screen for Aaron. Let's see some booms in the chat for Aaron, please, for uh, re-upping his YouTube membership. He should have a, a different color looking um, banner now next to his name, and uh, as always, access to the uh, custom emojis for being a, a member. So thank you very much, brother. Brother, I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Hole three. Let's do it. Yeah, using uh, gaming YouTube is an easy way to do it, for sure. Look at that blue banner. He was, you have graduated from green banner up to blue banner, which means uh, two months. You get another one at three months, and then you get another one at six months. So, awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's a link. There's a link to that in the uh, description, I believe, that should take you to um, the YouTube gaming site. To uh, if you want to become a member, it's uh, $4.99. You can make it recurring. You can make it month to month. But uh, you get the banner off the side of your name, and then you get access to extra emojis. It's just an optional thing if you want to show a little support to the channel, or you can just support the channel by being here. And interacting in the chat and, and helping my numbers. That's awesome, too. <laughs> Jeremiah Hill, what's up, buddy? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, $5.99 for Aussies. Okay. Your money, your money ain't worth as much as this American currency, I guess. <laughs> John H., how's it going, man? <coughs> John, uh, Ole Miss got the, both the best art, 
the best of both of our teams this week, dude. I don't know how that happened. But we should never let them beat us in Starkville. Man. And y'all should never let, let them beat y'all in Auburn. Alright, so let's see. This shot, full top and right spin. Uh, 6.7 rings is the adjustment for this. And I line my shot up right there in the middle of the fairway with uh, the blue rings cut in both edges, as you can see there. And now we will adjust for our, uh, our wind at 6.7 rings. 6.7 right there. And now we're going to put a little bit of right curl. Great to the left. That right curl should take care of that. We should be okay still. And that's the beauty of that, uh, that adjustment right there. Um, the way you line that shot up just perfectly in the middle of the fairway gives you that, uh, that great proof shot, as I like to call it. You like that great proof shot. You can hit great right, great left, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you have that curl on there, you're going to be good to go. Uh, we do, Jeremiah. We do. Um, that is uh, Flash Gordon. That was actually my old account, one of my old accounts that he won in a, a giveaway. I think it was for my 1,000 sub giveaway. But yeah, that's him in Blue Can Crew. Unfortunately, he's going to be taking a break from the game, so he will be leaving the Blue Can Crew after this season, which is, is sad because he's been with us since the beginning and been a, a part of this Golf Clash community for a long time. So hopefully, uh, the best wishes to him and hopefully... Uh, he gets stuff taken care of for himself. All right, uh, so here's one right here. We're going with a full right spin and um, about point, about a quarter of a bar back spin. And we're gonna, we want to pull it just to the point where it disappears. Like that. And now we're going to measure one to one. So 8.4 rings. And we want a perfect shot. Great right. Could still be okay. Oh no. Get down there on that green. Shoot. Nope. Great right was not okay. Hmm. That was a, a terrible error right there. Because this is probably one of the, the toughest chips in the game um, to this downhill pin. Dang, we get two and then mess up on three. A hole we haven't messed up on the whole tournament. All right, let's see what we can do with this uh, chip here. Straight on, that's nice. in the hole, baby. Woo! J-Boom. The bad thing is we shouldn't have to be J-Booming on a hole like that. That should be an easy putt for uh, an eagle. But that was a good save. Wow. Definitely not a chip that I like to have to make. That's a, that's a hell of a place to have to chip. Alright. Is that the forfeit? If you said hi to me up the chat after that, I apologize, but what's up? <laughs> your, your message just got bumped. <laughs> what's going on, uh, Daffy? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <coughs> We're off to a good start. Almost tried to uh, trip up there, but we saved it. Your line needs to be a tad left on that second uh, shot. Okay, got you, Brendan. Tad left. 
All right, thank you very much. The great right didn't help either, um, either, Brendan. <laughs> thank you all, thank you all very much. Kevin, what's up, buddy? Good to see you in here, sir. Kevin, AKA Randolph School of Music. If y'all didn't know, Kevin, Randolph School of Music is Kevin. So, um, he does put out some content now himself for uh, for the Learner Cat Clan, uh, one of the 19th old clans for rookies, and uh, you know some just some help videos. So if you are a rookie looking for some help videos, you can check him out. Right click his name, check out his channel. If you like his content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, ain't no ain't no harm done. Just just move just mosey on. <laughs> All right, all four. I'm sure Clint is getting ready to play. He always plays late at night on Sunday. <laughs> uh, you just created your baby backup golf clash account the other day. You can't say the name or someone might silence you. That's probably a, a good idea, Aaron. Don't, don't do anything to get silenced here. <laughs> All right, hole number four. Uh, par three. <coughs> uh, sniper and kingmaker, y'all. This uh, between this shoulder and this back, I'm, I'm falling apart. <laughs> I spent most of the day laid up in the bed with uh, the heating pad to my shoulder. It some days it feels better, and some days it feels like just like nonstop nuisance. Thank you, Kenneth. I appreciate that, buddy. All right, so we need the sniper for this hole. I'm pretty sure we have it in the bag already. And the Kingmaker ball, yep, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started on hole number four. This is a tricky par three. Um, we don't need Golf Clash Notebook for this because we play a one-to-one -one adjustment on this. Five down, three to the right. Ethan is first. All right. Good luck, Ethan. Online singlets or t-shirts with magnets. I've heard of those, Aaron. Um, I, I'm going to have to go to a probably have to go to a physical therapist and have them work it out. There's just something not not right back here where it's continuing to hit the nerve and the doctor told me this when I went in that uh, if the pain didn't go away that I might have to go to a physical therapist and have them do a little work Ooh, good try so looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do but uh, thanks for the suggestion appreciate it all right um, five down three right There are 7.6 rings. Great right. Still coming in straightish. Woo! Woo! That would have been a hell of a great ace. <laughs> Steve Walker would have been proud of me if I had aced that on a great. <laughs> Mr. Gr Mr. Steve Great Walker. That guy makes more shots off a of great than anybody I know. Every time he sends me a um uh, a video of one of his shots that goes in, it's a great. And I'm like always like great shot. <laughs> that would have been awesome if that went in. That's a really, really, really tough hole to ace. Um, the slope is just so difficult to judge. 
I mean, you could you could adjust it just a minute bit the wrong way, and your ball could bounce completely somewhere opposite of where you where you're expecting it to bounce. Derek Whitfer says, "Fairly new to the stream, Hale State. I like you already, man. Uh, I'm from the Golden Triangle too. We have." Mutual friends on Facebook also were in the same bracket this round. I struggle though. That's pretty cool, Derek. Um, small world. Just met. Uh, just had someone message me the other day that lives about 20 minutes from me in West Point. So that's pretty awesome, man. Maybe I'll, I'll see you around. We can talk some golf clash or something. Awesome. Definitely. Uh, definitely hit me up on uh, on my messenger. Uh-oh, Tim Olsen in the house. What up, buddy? What up, buddy? We about, uh, we about aced a four on a great shot. <laughs> Marco, what up, dude? How's it going, man? You grew up in West Point, okay. I, I spent a lot of time in West Point while I was in college at State playing, uh, uh, hanging out at Sopranos back before it was uh, a place to avoid. Used to play a lot of snooker and, and pool there. Definitely a lot of good times with some of my friends. Hole 5 is next. Um, I played this one earlier on my mini account and I hit the spot and I rolled all the way up to the edge next to the water and then I found myself in between clubs with my Hornet and my uh, my Endbringer. I had no shot to try it for the Albatross. All I could do was stick it up next to the hole to get the eagle. It kind of sucked. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in um, we're going to put in our rapier here for just in case that happens. I don't um, count on it happening, but you never know. <coughs> you never know. Check the chat here and then we'll get going. When did I get started playing Golf Clash, Epic Ask. Um, I've been playing like seriously for about a year. I, pl I played it when it first came out. Um, I had an account, lost all my coins and quit, and then came back uh, again and uh, started watching like Tommy and RJ, uh, you know, which are the guys that kind of inspired me to start doing this and just took off from there. I said, I'm going to create the 19th hole. I want a place for people to come and hang out and uh, contribute to the community and it's taken off uh, so definitely very blessed um, as to how things have gone but thank you very much for the question I appreciate it that was fun Jason that was completely random uh, I was just I had just woke up I fell asleep and just woke up and I said crap I gotta get some I gotta get this in before my main account and uh, it just was totally random that I got him. And then we, I messaged him and we got each other for a few more holes. I think it was good for him and it was good for me. It's a lot more fun when you're playing against uh, people you know for sure. And I think everybody would agree with that. Okay, so we're ready. Let's go. 10% um, adjustment for this shot with the Thor. Is how we're playing it. Got the Kingmaker ball in. Wally LaPointe, what's up? KB Shep in the house, what's up? Gordon Hamilton, how's it going? Josh Y, how's it going? Santos, my brother from another mother, what's up, buddy? Whole Shot Henry, how's it going? TJ Mc McGurk, how's it going? All kinds of people in here tonight. And I ran into this a few different times um, where it took a while to find an opponent on the back nine of my uh, my mini account. I didn't really I didn't really shoot very good. I had a few errors, uh, so I tried I started trying a few uh, really crazy shots on the back nine that didn't go too well. Uh, but oh well. All right, seven point one is just about five rings, so we're going uh, full top spin and uh, three right spin. And what we're doing here is we're going to aim off the right edge of our uh, our ball guide here. I mean, off the middle, so 
basically the right edge is right about five, so that's where we want to we'll land, right there. So we'll go five, 10, and 15. Pull right curl and right slice. Should be good, should be good. You never know, sometimes something happens. That's a good jump right there. Um, it's when, it's when that shot hits flat and thin that it hits, and it's almost like a glitch. It hits and just shoots all the way through the second fairway, almost all the way down to the edge next to that water. Uh, I'm glad that didn't happen, because it takes you out of chance. It takes you out of your really good chance for the, uh, for the albatross. Hornet will most likely be the club that we use for this next shot. Steve Ote, what's up, buddy? Yep, it sure does, Steve. Josh, why? Well, says I think you're in my bracket. I wouldn't know, Josh. I don't, I don't look up in my bracket. <laughs> it's just like a superstition I got here. Okay, eight point two. About max, it looks like. Okay. There's four. Right edge. And we gotta adjust, uh, it says 7.9. We're gonna adjust about 7.5. Freaking A, great left. Come on, get up there. Uh oh, we hit another glitch. Roll back. I don't know if y'all saw that. Every once in a while, every once in a while, you hit that that little glitch on the side, on the edge of the fringe. Uh, I got quite lucky there, actually. I've seen people hit that glitch and roll all the way through that green up and into the rough. So thankfully for me, it was more of a a baby minor glitch and not a big one. Uh, that would have been terrible. So we'll still get the eagle. Happy with that. If you don't hit the perfect, you pretty much kiss your chance of an albatross goodbye on this hole. But uh, we'll try again on the back nine. John Murphy says 4:20 a.m. in North Ireland, but worth the uh, sitting up for. First gold with minus 29. Watching my streams. Oh man, dude, John, that's that's like the best thing that I can hear. Um, hearing people uh, succeed off of listening to my information and watching my streams is definitely awesome to hear and see. Uh, congratulations to you, dude, uh, and thank you for uh, for waiting up and. Uh, in telling me that. I appreciate that, sir. All the way from North Ireland. Awesome. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know, Tim. I I don't plan on needing that information, but uh, I'm sure there, there may be some people in here that would have said, well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> we usually have uh, we usually have people in here from all areas of the world. It's pretty cool. Y'all, let me know about the music. If it's too loud, too soft, I can turn it up. I can turn it down. I can turn it off if you want. <laughs> It's just kind of a good filler uh, for times when I'm not talking. All right, so um, that's hole five. We got hole six is up next. <clears throat> we are going to um, switch it up from how we played it the other night. We're going to play the APOC five shot. This is the weekend round, so it's, I mean, it's all in. If you can't go all in on the weekend round, then you might as well just not even play the weekend round. Ain't that right, Brendan? So, APOC 5, here we go. Berserker Ball, here we go. Uh, we got our Nirvana in, we got our Malibu in. Alright. <coughs> We're ready to go. Power 5 Ball, 10%. 
I don't know why I'm doing this because I really don't use it, but oh well. So here we go. Crank up some Megadeth. Jesse, what's up, man? Uh, <laughs> I don't think Megadeth is NCS. Vic, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you in here, man, my friend. <laughs> what's up here up the chat here? Make sure I see if I missed anybody here. Scott F., how's it going, dude? Edward, I don't know if I said hi to you, but what's up, buddy? <laughs> Great shot, Steve. He changed his name. He may have already had it changed. I didn't notice it. Max Ford, how's it going, man? Thanks for joining us tonight, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mullins, 98. A 34 in your expert bracket? Wow. 34 under. That's crazy. That is absolutely bonker crazy. Either he had hit every shot he took or, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I hate to speculate too much on something like that, but uh, I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Eric Brown, what up? Beastie Boys? <laughs> Danger Zone? Tool? <coughs> All right. Full top and four right spin. See what kind of a win we get here. 10.7. All right, so we'll play this one as it's 11. Full top and four right spin for this one. Um, we're going um, left edge of the white on the tree. Okay. Full hook. Get one go. Ah! Just missed it. Just missed it. A little bit more, and uh, we'd have rolled onto the the fairway. It's just like. That shot's almost kind of like a coin flip. Uh-oh, I got in trouble. I got, I got to tone it down a little bit. But uh, it's, it's almost like a coin flip. Um, I've seen some people stick. I've seen some people roll. But uh, I definitely like the look of that shot. Definitely a lot nicer than some of the shots uh, I've been trying to make with that uh, technique. If you noticed, I brought in my curl just a tad bit. I maybe like a 10% uh, difference in curl right there. But it looked good, it looked good. Yes, Colt, the, the hammer has spoken. <laughs> Salmon, what's going on, man? How's it going, dude? Thanks for joining us here tonight, or morning. <laughs> All right, uh, Nirvana, 11.7. This is a nice wind. This is definitely a nice wind. Play it right there. Ah, uh, great right. Ah, uh, missed that one. But uh, we'll get the birdie there. Would have been nice to get that drop. Uh, definitely helps in the overall standings, but uh, not uh, not a must. Not a must. But would have been nice to get it. Gotta hit that perfect though. Had a good had a good wind at my back for that shot too. That's a shame that we couldn't hit the perfect. Minus thirties are first through third in both your brackets. Yeah, expert experts very club dependent in this tournament, uh, especially on that eight seventeen. Uh, if you don't have the clubs and you don't get that lucky bounce and roll out of that rough, then it makes it difficult. It makes it difficult. Cam shot a minus 32, Bobby. Wow. But we'll give that um, 
We'll give that shot one more try on the back nine. Hopefully we can get to the uh, the fairway on the back nine. That'd be awesome. Oh, that's a Masters. Okay. Uh, I haven't looked at a whole lot of expert brackets. I thought you were talking about expert, man. My bad. That's pretty nice. Although I know there are a few holes where it's a lot easier to get to certain spaces in the Masters. So. All right. Already at hole seven. <coughs> and that right there will be is hole seven, so. KD says you helped me get a 24 on my first tournament. Wow, very nice KD, and thank you very much. My pleasure, dude. Keep it up, man. You'll have a gold in no time. All right, so nine under after six. Uh, we've been getting really close on this hole seven. It would be awesome to drop it. It would be awesome. Kingmaker. Five to the right, 4.5 down, and a one-to-one -one adjustment. Y'all are going to be sick and tired of that cough by the end of the stream, and I uh, apologize severe, sincerely, and my wife is sick and tired of it, too. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't even need Golf Clash Notebook uh, for this hole, so. Uh, let's see. Kind of shady. said, so can you not get the Notebook app over your game like you can on Android? Um, I do have uh, Android, that's what I have, uh, but you can get it on Apple as well now. And it, it works just like uh, Golf Clash Caddy where it slides in uh, from the side, but that's only if you have um, a tablet. So 5 right, 4.5 down, alright, and we want to adjust this one so it goes through the hole. I'm going to adjust it through that second bounces through the hole. Like that right there. 7.6 is our lining, our uh, adjustment for this hole. Six, seven point six, right there. Perfect hit! Come on, baby, be the ball. Give it to me just one time. Nope. Gonna miss it again. We are getting. Everywhere except in the hole on this hole. Maybe the back nine. Maybe the back nine. Salmon says, how is it even possible to pre-note wind adjustments? Well, the wind adjustments, um, the adjustments for the hole uh, and the wind says pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing that changes is possibly the speed of the wind and the, the, a very small amount of the angle of the wind. Um, and you can make you can make small changes in your, your aiming uh, when that happens. As far as like if you're talking about before the tournament even happens, um, if you're talking about my like my guide videos, I really don't know the winds for the tournament so I basically just talk about all the different scenarios and different ways to play each hole. So that when it does come tournament time, you have some sort of an idea of how to play a hole if, like, if you have a headwind or if you have a tailwind, you know, then you'll be prepared on to which way is going to be best uh, for you to, uh, you know, play that hole in the tournament. So, I don't know if that was your question, um, but you definitely feel free to message me on Facebook if you, uh, you want to talk further about it. Appreciate it. How do you determine elevation on holes? Uh, well, if it's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of um, a learning thing, you kind of get it by play and feel. Uh, a lot of times, if it looks like it's downhill, it's probably a downhill shot, um, especially from the tees, or most of them are, are elevated. And then you got to take into consideration if the shot's over water and stuff like that. So that does uh, have a chance to add to uh, the elevation uh, for a particular shot. 
Uh, and that is something I normally talk about in my guides, like rookie and then pro and expert. And that's usually on uh, Thursday or Friday um, of the week before the tournament actually starts. So you can kind of get a little bit of a, a head start on that kind of stuff. Uh, and also, if you play a particular elevation and you don't feel like it's correct, you can make minor adjustments to that elevation, uh, you know, you know, to maybe find a little bit more of a, a dialed-in elevation for that shot. So. Charles says, on the back nine, Try through the hole and then move left one cup of hole. All right, that definitely makes sense, Charles. I don't have a pen with me here, but uh, I, I should be able to remember that. I should be able to remember that. Kingmaker X has made a difference for you on hole nine. Yeah, I, I didn't get any of those. Didn't get any of those. Okay, so hole nine, here we go. Uh, we will make a few adjustments here. We will go with the APOC. Uh, and our cataclysm here and I, I don't know it's just become like a, a tradition this tournament is to use a firework ball for this hole you can probably get away with using a power three ball but uh, oh this is an even hole wait a second this ain't hole nine back up Reset, refocus, hole eight. This is hole eight. We're gonna play uh, the rough bump on this hole. To the right side and a rough bump. Turkey ball and the rock. The hornet. All right, so we're good now. Yeah, I don't know why. Got ahead of myself. Hole eight is first. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> uh, Joel, just skip hole eight. Yeah, I wish I could skip hole eight. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> Taxation is theft is the name of his clan. <laughs> That is good. That's a uh, power two ball, okay. 15% and a rock. Five win, okay. We're gonna go with uh, two back spin, one right spin. And then five rings, 5.6 rings. So we'll go a little tiny bit in overpower here. And that should be okay. And that should set us up for uh, a shot with our, uh, our Hornet here. The Rock is definitely a really good club to play that shot with just because of its extended ball guide. Uh, and it's, it's basically its ability just to pinpoint it wherever you want it. So from here we're going to play a, a Hornet Rough Bump. Do you ever spend gems on balls or do you only get in out of the chest? Uh, on this account I get them out of the chest uh, and balls like Kingmakers and Titans and stuff like that I only win in tournaments. Um, but they do have special uh, balls that they sell as a part of like packages sometimes during the week and depending on what kind of ball it is and the stats on it, uh, you know, we may buy those balls. Go on ball. Alright, so he's playing to the left, I'm playing to the right. Max, min, max, uh, we're going to play this one, we're 
We're gonna play this one at uh, four. Perfect hit. Let's see what this one does. Get in the hole. Ugh. Wow. Just barely missed that rough bump. I haven't had a whole lot of success with the blast shot. And I personally would rather take a rough bump like that than a shot out of the uh, out of the rough with a power five ball win. And that's just that's just me personally. Uh, some people may prefer to go with uh, the, the chance, but man, that was so close. Mmm. Correct, Chef. You can get it for iOS now. Welcome back, Moofy. I like that name, Moofy. Oh man, that, that that hurts me right here. Right there. So close. <coughs> I went uh, I went with the four and I should have played it as mid. If I had played that as mid it would have been in the cup. So we'll have to remember that from next time. If it's a shot that looks fairly mid-ish or in between mid-ish and max, play the mid number. Because that definitely looked like it was in between a mid and a max adjustment. So that's why I kind of split the difference a little bit there. Hmm. Oh, that would have been nice. Ooh. Frank, what's up, man? Um, Frank, I, I definitely would not partake in that. It's definitely it's got to be some type of a scam. <laughs> okay, Sebastian, <laughs> I'll look at him a little bit later. Y'all, y'all were killing me yesterday. <laughs> All right. Now, hole nine. Now we're on hole nine. So, let's set up for hole nine now. <laughs> <coughs> Apocalypse, we got the Cataclysm in already. Um, we're gonna put in the Thorn, just in case. Just in case, and, and also the Goliath, just in case, you never know. Put my end bringer back in here. And uh, where's that firework ball at? Where you at, buddy? All right, there you are. Yeah, I got some of them power, um, those season four balls. They're basically the same thing as a Santa ball, which I only have a few of. So I picked up some, some Santa, some skinned Santa balls. What's going on, Nicholas Hendricks? Thank you very much for the good luck. And I appreciate the message. I try. Appreciate it. Okay, so there's the APOC and a 10% for this shot downhill and power four ball is what we're playing with today. Let's see some fireworks. Oh yeah, Frank. They probably try in all those game, all the games that uh, you can buy gems for. I just recently started playing a little bit of Brawl Stars. That's a pretty fun game. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not like hardcore into it or anything, but just playing it casually. Just started the other day, so if any of y'all play Brawl Stars, definitely hit me up and uh, try to teach me a thing or two. What's the name of the other Jesse Both?
Jesse, I, I have the the name I run the 19th hole with has two O's in the last name. You sent me a PM, Charles? Alright. I hate it when you select the ball and then they make you select the ball again. That's annoying. Four top, full left, and I go three about 3.5 top spin on this shot. I want to land it right about in there. So what we're going to do is uh, pull our shot forward here, and then we're moving back 6.6 .6 rings. So there's five, 6.6. .6. I'm going to put a little bit of power and a little bit of right curl. And hopefully that right curl just saved our butt. Yep. So we'll be down there. Uh, we should be in a very good location for a, a shot with our Cataclysm now. Hey Charles, I played that, uh, that second shot on hole 8 mid adjustment uh, the first time I played it last night uh, on Who's account and I played it with 0% and I played the mid and it went dead center of the cup so um, I, and I think if I had played a mid adjustment there that last time it would have been in the cup too so I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna mess around with my elevation on that shot but uh, thank you for the, the message and definitely think about it All right, so Cataclysm here. Uh, we don't play elevation on this shot. 10.5 wind. Uh, we'll play two backspin. Two backspin and one left spin. Now let's try to aim this shot as good as we can at that hole. All right. And uh, 10.5 is 6.4 rings. Perfect hit. This could be close. We need this albatross right here. We need this albatross. Come on, ball. Ah. We'll shorten right. We'll back that off to about one and three quarters bar of backspin on the uh, back nine for sure. We won't go the full two. But it was close. Um, Jason, my wife actually just got one of those crickets and uh, she's learning how to use it, so I will be uh, eventually making shirts uh, for anybody that might want one from the 19th hole. Um, and also, I'll, I'll probably do some like stickers for like uh, that you can stick on like Yeti cups and cooler cups, stuff like that. So you could probably even stick them on like phone covers and stuff like that too. But uh, we will be doing that soon, as soon as we figure out how to use the machine. Uh, she just got it for Christmas, so. Yep, and I'll definitely post about that on the 19th hole when uh, we do do that. Uh, yeah, I think Brent, Brendan's wife made this for me. So if you're wanting something like right now, you can talk to him and see if she'll make, them, make one for you. I don't know what she's up to, how busy she is. But I will be doing them and uh, making them available on the 19th hole uh, in the near future. Maybe do some sort of like a hat uh, or t-shirt, stuff like that and then the stickers for like the cups and the, the phones. Okay, so that was nine holes, minus 13. So we, uh, we played nine holes, didn't make any mistakes, didn't get any good drops though. Can I get a caddy shirt? <laughs> That's like one of those like shirts that just kind of drapes over the front and the back and then is like open on the sides. Yeah, I, I could see you wearing that around your house, Tim. <laughs> that would be, Hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that would be funny. Alright, Clint, 
Later, dude. <laughs> she's already part of several of those uh, Facebook groups, Brendan. She's she's on top of it. <laughs> she went to uh, Hobby Lobby yesterday because they were having like a 40% off sale on a bunch of the stuff. So yeah. Okay, so hole number 10. We're back to the beginning. Daniel McStoot, what up, buddy? What's going up, my friend? Is the... Is this PR or expert or masters or are expert and masters the same? Uh, PR. I'm not, I don't quite understand the, uh, the question 100%, uh, KD. The, the masters play from the third tee and the winds are much higher. So it's much different than expert and pro. I don't know if that was your, uh, I don't know if that was your question, but maybe it was. <laughs> Safe space in the house. <laughs> All right, so quarterback. And Kingmaker Ball. People want a hole in one on here. Yeah, I want a hole in one on here too, Sebastian. <laughs> Doug Hurst, what's going on, buddy? All right, here we go. Hopefully, we'll start climbing up the leaderboard. We're still in the 90s. What's up, Aaron? Yeah, we just played the, the front nine. Mm, just under four top, okay. I got you, Tim. Oh, very nice, Derek. That's that's quite an accomplishment. This is definitely um a tough hole to get an ace on. <coughs> You have to dunk it. <laughs> I would have agreed with you before this morning when Tim showed me the video of his ace. <laughs> Dan goes first. All right, we'll see what Dan can do here. We out. I think we got a backup. Ryan got it twice, but both in the shootouts. Oh man, that ain't no fun. Steve says zero percent. Well, Steve, my caddy tells me plus two percent, plus two. <laughs> oh, thank you for the uh, the heads up, Aaron. <coughs> Ooh, he got close. Henry Dillport, what's up, man? Okay, uh, Kingmaker. Two left. And just under. Four top. Eight point seven. Close my eyes. Great left. All right, we didn't get stuck. Oh, hate that hole. Great lefts are scary. If you hit a perfect, you're close. 
you're either in the hole or probably just over the top of the hole. Great lefts can be one of two things, where I'm at or way up, way up yonder on that ridge. We got lucky. Oh, wow, Nick. Holy smokes, I bet you were like jumping for joy. Hole in one on seven, awesome, Scott. Good job, Tim. <laughs> oh, let's see, someone said, I think I saw my name up here. Uh, where is James? I don't know where James is at. I haven't seen James around as much lately. I think he's making some uh, changes. He was supposed to stream today, I thought, and I hadn't I haven't seen any kind of notification for him. And I hadn't really seen him saying a whole lot in any of the chat rooms, so maybe he's uh maybe he's taking a day off. Brendan, that was an incredible save you had. Uh on that shot and yeah the fact that it was a great hit ball is what makes it even more awesome uh, he quite possibly could be Aaron Nicholas asked how many accounts do I play I played four of this tournament uh, last tournament I only played really two uh, I have a rookie a pro and two expert accounts I use because I use all those accounts for making my videos uh, throughout the week, and uh, I sometimes play the rookie and the pro account in a tournament, and sometimes I don't. It just really depends on uh, how I'm feeling, and and sometimes it depends on the brackets. Like in the rookie, if I go through the bracket and I don't see a single person I know, I might play it. But if I see someone I know, I'm probably not going to play it, uh, just because I don't want to take the risk of bumping them down or anything like that. All right, to hole 11, my nemesis, my arch nemesis, Thor, come on Thor, do it for me again, and uh, sniper in, because when you sniper on hole 3, and I think that's, uh, I think we're good, yeah, kingmaker ball, check here, see my phone, Got a message here. Derek Whitford, there you are. Alright, got you a message for you. Definitely uh, get back to you after the stream there, dude. Do, do, do. Alright. Let's go. James is a cat groomer. <laughs> Great shot, Steve. Doug Hurst. Sandy's got a bunch of goals in her house normally. Between her and uh, John and Lit, they, uh, they gold it up. Do not hit great right. Yeah, I, I know. I know, that sucks. That's why I kind of try to cheat my uh, my initial aim a little more left. So I still have a chance if I hit great right. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it, buddy. Kind words. Brandon. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, man. Catch up with you later on uh, on chat, dude. Have a good night. Brandon, thank you for the uh, that Google Play card the other day. I appreciate that. Brandon Jellinger, man, that guy is a, a good dude. Very selfless individual. 
always trying to look out for everybody. That, uh, that's the kind of guy that uh, the world needs more of. I hope he was still in here. All right. Ten percent, eight point one, so five point four rings, five top, one right. And now we gotta make our adjustment. 5.4 rings. Great left again. Feel like I'm okay. Yep. Roll ball. Roll, roll, stop. Take that. We will take that as long as we can hit that that putt. Two for two on my weekend round on that hole. Yeah, I'll take that. Have a good night, Brandon. Brandon. Oh, I say Brandon. Brandon. Um, pretty much, Nick. It slides into your screen just like the uh, Golf Clash Caddy app does. Um, oh, nice shot. I like the feature they have, though, on it where you can select your clubs. It comes out like a little circular roll bar. Very easy. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit um, jealous of that. So we get our eagle. Two for two on my nemesis. Here's to you, hole two. If I if I completely bomb this round, I'm gonna be like, yeah. But I, I showed hole two who's boss. <laughs> Sebastian's putting putting on the tablet is, is is like almost easy as it gets. I'd have about three more gold medals if I had had this tablet the whole time I played Golf Clash. Oh, sweet, Aaron. That'd be awesome, man. We can, uh, we can do it on, like, Sundays of tournament weeks. And then we could do it, like, on, uh, or we could do it even like during the middle of the week on tournament week, and then we can do it like on uh, a Thursday or something like that on non-tournament weeks. But that would be awesome, Aaron. Yeah, definitely. Get up with me. Let me know. We make it happen, but brother. All right, we got the eagle. Hole three is next. Sounds good, Aaron. All right. We we got we kind of got a little bit lucky on this hole last time. We we messed up our second shot. We adjusted into the rough a little bit too much. <coughs> and I think we um we aimed a little bit too far to the right. I think that's what um Brent uh Brendan told me. Brendan, if you still in here, man, repost whatever it was you said for me to adjust uh, on this shot. For this next, uh, for this uh, this time. All right, so APOC. There's the APOC and the sniper and the kingmaker. So we're good. I got some some jam and music on tonight on the uh, NCS Gaming Channel. <laughs> Tim, what did Tim say? I thought that was one of y'all telling me to adjust, adjust a little bit differently. 
Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Charles. You leaving? Uh, Mark Lapla, that is the Golf Clash Notebook app right here. See, look, I can turn them on. I can turn them off. If you got Android, you can download it on the Android uh, Google Play Store. If you got Apple, um, I'm not sure if it's available on the iOS uh, iTunes Store, but you can get it through the Golf Clash Notebook.io site. It's definitely a great tool. Great tool to use. I wish I had this my whole time I play Golf Clash. Alright, 20% downhill for this shot. 7.7. Uh, just as we did last time, we're going to aim our shot right here with our blue rings. Cutting the rough on each side, full top and right spin. Uh, we adjust for our shot here. 6.6 rings. That's good enough. A little bit of right curl. Great left, but that right curl and that right spin should be okay. Just like last time. Yeah. Be right back. Let me let my dog out real quick. It is an iTunes store now, okay. Thank you, uh, Gerald, for letting us know. Well, the crosshairs won't be available in the uh, Apple. If you have an Android, though, you can get the crosshairs. And you can add all kinds of other lines on your screen as well, but I don't do that. I, I like as, as little as possible on my screen so that y'all can see better. Um, but the crosshairs are definitely helpful. Uh, when you want to adjust more than five rings. If you just want to if you're just starting to play and you're a new player The take shot button is going to be good enough for you But when you start getting into higher divisions uh, having that crosshair definitely helps. I, I am not gonna lie So full right and uh, 0.25 So we're going to move this back just to right there. And now we're going to adjust uh, 8.4 rings. Golly, great left. So this is not going to be an albatross, but it's going to be pretty darn close to the hole. Great left, perfect, may have been in business. Joel said he turned his gray. Looks nice and not too distracting. I had mine a different color, can't remember what they were, but I was having a hard time seeing them. So that's why I went with red. That way I knew I would be able to see them. But yeah, gray would work. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the idea. We'll probably we'll probably go out and uh, and change them to gray after this hole, and, and we'll give it a try. I don't know the the notebook app's pretty cool on uh, on Apple from what I've seen. The club selection feature in itself is, is a pretty badass feature. Stars Hyper 7, what's going on? What's going on? Terry, what's up, buddy? Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, we're up over 100 viewers. I'm happy. If I get over 100 in any given stream, then that makes my day. Um, the other day on our lunch stream, I get like over a hundred during lunch stream, and I was like, "Wow, that's crazy." 
Leandro Alves, thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you. And Mark Lapla, thank you very much for the subscription. Presley B, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate it, you all. Growing, growing, growing. All right. I'm not 100% sure if anybody else is streaming after me. I, I want to say that uh, Helios, is it Helios or Santos? Someone said they might stream after me. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to try, I'm just forfeiting the shootouts uh, so that uh, we don't take up extra time. Yeah, I mean, I, I played pretty much most of my golf flash time without crosshairs. Um, and it, it's, it, it helps a little bit. I wouldn't say, though, that it's a, a difference maker. I, I definitely wouldn't say it's a difference maker. Now, there's some other things that, uh, that may be added to some of these apps that I don't, I'm not sure that I 100% agree with. But uh, that's for a different day. All right, hole four. So let's see if we can uh, if we can get hole four here. A uh, sniper, a kingmaker. All right. <laughs> I hear you, Scott. I hear you. Oh, Santos is playing off stream. Well, what about Helios? Might have been Helios that I uh, that I heard say that he might play late. Somebody said that they might play after me or even maybe during the end of my stream. I can't remember exactly who it was. Leandro from Brazil. New, new subscriber and posting in the chat. Welcome there. Welcome. And uh, awesome to have someone from Brazil in here. I think you're uh, my first person from Brazil. I've got like South America, uh, North Ireland. Uh, we've had people from all over the world in here. I've got someone here from Australia. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's see what uh, Adolin can do. <laughs> Terry, <laughs> you'll get me in trouble. <coughs> <coughs> Joplin, Missouri. What's up, tap you, kill you. <laughs> Are you a, uh, are you a Mizzou fan in Missouri? All right, so uh, five down, three left. way here. Seven point five. Perfect hit. We'll see what this one does. Close to the hole but not in the hole. Easy birdie though. Scott F. Georgia, Seattle. Nick Bullware, Mississippi. There's Helios. Helios, you gonna stream after me, buddy? I, I wanna say it was you that I saw that said they might stream after me or, or during me right at the end. 
definitely would like to know. I'd definitely join you in there and, and watch you at, uh, after my stream if you are. And uh, hopefully other one of these some of these 114 people will as well. <laughs> Brendan. Star Hyper from Canada, eh? <laughs> you say Canada. Canada is a very large place. I mean, uh, it's a pretty big uh, area of land. So, what area of Canada are you in, Stars? Um, Jason, it's RJ Friedman. If you type in RJ while you're on the 19th hole, it should pop, it should bring his name up uh, to tag him. But if you're unable to tag him tomorrow, uh, if you tag me and I see that you didn't tag him, I will tag him in there myself for you. Scotland, uh, Southern California. B oh, British Columbia. So British Columbia is like the far, the far eastern part, right? Isn't that British Columbia? All right, fourteen. Let's see. Uh, let's see what are we doing here. Thor, fi Thor five, and the Kingmaker. Uh, we do want to change out some of these clubs though. Backbone and the Hornet and the. So, like, we're just changing the whole bag here. I know I have. I probably have. I have three bags, but I, I really don't use those <laughs> very well. I never uh, got into that. Let's open up a couple of these chests here to make some room. I got the Thor card in my shop two days in a row on my mini account. So I am closer to level 6 on my mini account than I am on my, on my uh, main account. The Lakers lose to the Cavs. That kind of brings a smile to my face. That's like a little bit of uh, sweet justice right there. A little karma. That's awesome. San Antonio. Very cool. Pennsylvania for Doug. <laughs> the river walk for Jason. <laughs> All right. We're ready. We're ready to roll. 10% downhill. Uh, Thor 5 for this shot. All right, Mike. Later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Jason, Milwaukee. Oregon. Jason, I lived in San Antonio for a few years. I was, I was a very young child. Um, my dad was stationed in San Antonio. Indiana. Got people all over the place in here. That's awesome. Very diverse crowd we have here. Okay, uh, full top and three right. Nine win. That's six. Six. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty decent sized wind right there. So we'll play that one right about uh, there. Five. Ten. Fifteen. We'll curl and slice. This one's going to be okay. Nice bounce down that fairway. And that's going to be uh, in this nice Hornet shot range. <clears throat> Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. I appreciate that.
Ain't nothing you can do about it, Aaron, man. All I can do is just, like, keep on going, brother. I keep waiting for Tim to send me a, a t-shirt with his logo on it so I can wear it on stream, but he never will. He never has. <laughs> it's a pretty cool logo. Waco, Texas for Bo. What's up, Bo? How's it going? Yeah, that's right, Aaron. Just got to keep on going, man. Got to keep on going. Okay, let's see. 7.5. Max is right there. We're going to play this pretty much max. For top. All right, 7.5 is we're going to do seven rings. Perfect hit. We got a chance here, y'all. We got a chance. Oh my gosh. Quit teasing me, y'all, Clash. Mm. Too close. I'd rather just miss the cup totally <laughs> than to do a rim. Dang. Oh well, nothing you can do except be happy for the eagle and move on. You let something like that make you mad, it could affect you the rest of your round. No, we're not going to do that here. Uh, we played that one a little bit less than what um, the ring said to play it. We played that at 7 instead of 7.3. Uh, that's because we were shooting to a downhill spot uh, on that hill. So we actually like adjusted like through the adjustment if you understand what I'm saying otherwise uh, we could have definitely had a chance to not even make it up to the hole so we added a little bit of extra by not adjusting the full amount if you're wondering why I didn't adjust the full 7 7.3 that would have been awesome Franklin we really needed that Ah, uh, sucks, Aaron. Yeah, it's worse. When when they get like so close, those are the worst. <laughs> All you can do in a situation like that is just take another drink, right? I mean, there's really nothing else you can do except take another drink. And move on. <laughs> oh. Alright. We got the eagle at least. We got the eagle at least. Yeah, I I agree, Tim. I I am not a big fan of luck tournaments. Um I think some I think people should be um rewarded for consistent play. And uh, I just hate when you, you when luck is so involved, especially in the expert. Um, this tournament, um, a whole eight and seventeen specifically, I really don't agree with the way they set up that hole. I don't think that half the field should be able to make the shot, and the other half of the field should not be able to make the shot. Uh, they really rewarded players that are hanging out in expert with really good clubs and balls on that hole. Uh, but even then, it's not 100% guaranteed, but it's definitely uh, increases your chances for sure. No doubt. But all you can do is try to find alternate ways to play the hole and give yourself the best chance to make that shot. I played the blast shot three times. Um, I made it the first time, and then I didn't get close the second two, the two, sec two times after that. So that's why I went to the rough bump. Felt that was more of a consistent opportunity. And now we have the um, the curl shot with the APOC next. 
so we will set up our bag for this um, and see if we can make it to the fairway this time. We came up just a little bit short last time. So APOC ball, where you, I mean, Berserker ball, there you are. Yeah, those, those winds, uh, and also if you get more of a side wind, or if you get more of a, a headwind, makes a big difference too. We'll see what we get. Uh, I still plan to play the, the safe shot, but I'm going to um, add, a, add my second bag uh, for eight for 17 and see. And we may try the blast shot. We may try it, we'll see. So for those of you that weren't in here earlier, um, I thank you all for helping contribute to my record-breaking uh, week on YouTube. 25,000 plus views on my videos. Uh, so for that, I say thank you all. Appreciate it. We will be going for 30,000 next time. Field Dog is first. All right. Let's see what you got, Field Dog. I think we've had this guy before, or somebody else from the same clan. <laughs> yeah, I usually forget to even pack my other bags, Aaron. Bo, there's some, there's some very, there's some fairly cheap tablets that you can get out there now. The Asus had as a tablet that you can get um, that several people in the 19th hole have, are using uh, that they have nice things to say about. So, I mean, there's some affordable tablets out there now. Let's see what we get. 9.6 wind. Hmm, I don't know that's going to be enough. Yeah, we'll play, uh, I guess we'll play it as it's 10. So, full top and left. Right there. Full curl, and then we come off our curl just a bit. Uh-oh. I, I feel like I my finger jarred a little bit there. We'll see where we end up. No, we're going to get a good bounce. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Y'all, it's just not meant to be tonight. I get like the perfect hop and then it rolls through the fairway. <laughs> that hole, this hole hates me, this tournament, I swear. If I'm not hitting thin, uh, I'm getting a good hop and then rolling too much. Exactly, Bo, unlucky. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see what we can do here. Mm, so freaking close to being a, a nice chip. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, great. Be nice to me. Ah. I thought we still may have had a chance with that great, but uh, just a little bit off to the right edge. So, another birdie. I mean, a quarter of a yard makes such a big difference in this game.
one kind of hurt a little bit. Uh, I really felt I had a really good chance to be chipping off the uh, fairway there, and then it just rolled that little bit extra. Charlie Fuentes, this is the weekend round, man. Weekend round, dude. All right, moving on to seven. Yeah. Needed some air brakes. You got that right, Max. It says opening round. I don't know why. I don't know why it says opening round. Let's see. Stream info. I don't want to pull it up. I don't know. Thanks for letting me know. I will definitely uh, correct that in the title. Thank you very much. I thought I had changed that when uh, I went live, but apparently not. All right, hole 16 is par three. Uh, we're gonna play this with the sniper. <laughs> All right, Steve. Yeah, man, when you get that nudge, it's time to put the tablet down. Have a good night, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Oh, is that what it was, Brennan? Yeah, the luck of the Irish. Yeah, I don't know why it says opening, Tim. I thought I, I, I thought I corrected that when I uh, I started the stream. Here, let me let me just go and change that real quick. It's gonna, it's gonna bug me now. It'll take just a minute to do. Yep, I agree, Doug. Thank you, Mr. B. Opening round, yeah, it sure does. All right. It should be uh, changed now. I don't know why. When I go live, it asks me, Yo, uh, Streamlabs asked me now for my title and my descriptions, and I swear I changed that, but I guess I didn't. All right. So hole seven is the sniper and kingmaker. We don't need the the app for this one because we are doing one to one adjustments. And here we go. All right, we've got three holes left. We've still got some uh, opportunities. Five to the right, 4.5 down. And let's see, we're going to play this one this time. Like that. 7.7 .7 rings. Kind of tough to make that adjustment right there. Hit it perfect. And nope. Just didn't get lucky on that one this, uh, this tournament. Didn't get the bounce to fall. It's okay. Sometimes that's how it happens. Yeah, even even right of the hole is probably still short.
thank you, Steve. I appreciate that, my friend. All right, thanks for letting me know, uh, Aaron. We'll definitely, uh, hopefully pass everybody along to Helios that wants to uh, watch some more Golf Clash. Definitely love to support my 19th hole brothers. That perfect. All right, got the birdie. Uh oh, I'll be. I'm gonna look for you. Cool Breeze is your name, huh? Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't quite say we're flying by you, cool. <laughs> we're, we're not doing much of flying in this round. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is that tournament where like you can very easily go from a minus twenty-six to a minus thirty, and it all depends on the luck of a few shots. Um, and that's the that's the way these holes are, and I, I really don't like tournaments like that. But uh, you know, in the end, it's a freaking video game, and as long as we're having fun playing it and hanging out, uh, you know, of course you want to win the gold. I mean, that's why you play the game. But there are other things um, that go into you know a successful game as well so we got two more holes so we got two more chances at a drop um, <coughs> I was thinking about trying to play 17 with the blast shot but I'm not I'm gonna stick to my game plan and play my rock and my hornet and if I don't make the shot then you know that's just how it goes but at least I can say I stuck to my game plan. Because sometimes when you don't stick to your game plan, that's when things go really bad. Awesome. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. Brendan, thanks for being here, buddy. Have a good night, sir. All right. So the way we played it on the front nine, so the way we're going to play it on the back nine, Rock and Hornet. That's right. I agree, Aaron. Winning, winning uh, banners is just a bonus. For me, helping others uh, and hanging out with y'all is 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 the gold medal. Okay, rock and the hornet. There's the rock. Getting close to level eight. It's actually a fairly decent club. It's a kind of a situational club. Um. But, all right, and turkey ball, there you are. So we got the hornet in, we got the rock in. We're ready to go. Fifteen percent power two ball and rock. Yep, one stroke between a top 10 and a top 25. Yeah, we, we really do appreciate Tim in the 19th hole. Um, you know, Tim could have gone anywhere. You know, he could be any community. And, uh... When I first asked him to be, you know, a bigger part of the 19th hole, I wasn't sure that he was going to say yes. Just because, you know, the guy has options. But uh, when he said yes, and after seeing what he's been doing, I am so happy that I asked the question. Because what's the worst he could have said, right? No? I mean, and then we move on. But he didn't. And he's definitely helped a lot of people along the way. So definitely uh, thank you, Tim, for that, buddy. All right, 5.2, we're gonna adjust this one. A little bit of uh, power, and that one should be good right there. It's gonna put us up to the front right edge of the fairway, hopefully. Maybe a little bit back from where we were on the front nine. All right, so a Hornet. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Well, you have some options, Tim. <laughs> you don't have all options. <laughs> uh, but I'm happy to have you here with us. You're a good guy and you're a good friend. Okay, here we go. 5.4. Let's see what kind of... Uh... So that's max. Oh man, so that's, yeah, we are way up this time. I feel like we're a lot closer to between mid and max here. So let's see what this slider bar has to say. 4.5? Alright, we're going 4.5. If we miss it, it's the slider ball spot. Perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. You gotta be kidding me. We're not playing a bad round. We're just not getting lucky. Not today. Yikes. No problem, Michael. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, y'all. That's a ball away. Thank you, John. Mr. Freeze, Mr. Charles with the 2499 donation. Just because I'm the man. No, you the man, Charles, you the man. Charles, another great guy. Good part of the 19th hole. Happy to have him and uh, be able to call him a friend as well. Thank you, Charles. Y'all give Charles some love in the chat. Another boom there for Charles. What a guy. What a guy. Man, I can't believe that ball didn't go in. I, I thought that was in. Just the way it was rolling off that rough, it looked like it was going in the hole. Yeah, you're right, Tim. In the back of my mind, I was telling myself, yep, you're just going to barely miss that one. <laughs> Good job, Brian. Alright, so last and final hole, we're at 24 under in 41st place. So let's let's see what these, uh, if we can get a, an eagle here, what these two strokes do. Maybe we get Albatross. We're going to hopefully, we're going to try for Albatross. Uh, same exact setup as last time. Apocalypse. And uh, Cataclysm. And we're going to end this baby with a firework ball. On the screws. What's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully your rounds went well today. Appreciate it, Mr. Hank. All right, so here we go. Hole number 18, we're getting ready to finish this up here with a firework ball, and oh wow. Scott F. says, oh heck no Mr. Free, I'm the man tonight. <laughs> Scott, brother, thank you very much sir. $49.99 from Scott. Guys, y'all are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'm glad I didn't hit the start button on this hole. So, Scott. Charles, this one's for you. Oh, 
Appreciate it. Quentin Fox says, I've been playing along with you. And, uh, let's see. What is it? What else did he say? I've been playing along with you. I missed a chip on 17 after making it on the 8 on eight with the M Zerker. Needed an Albatross on 18 and made the Alba. Awesome job, Quentin. Dude, way to go. Freaking awesome. Um, wow. Are you freaking kidding me? I gotta scroll back up here. I thought I just saw something. I can't even stop the chat, it's going so crazy. Charles says, no you're not, I am. <laughs> Charles, um, wow, dude. 9999 from Charles. Y'all better spam that chat for Charles and Scott for the rest of the stream. Um, Y'all just keep spamming their names in the chat because boom and boom. Wow, incredible. My, guys, like I still got to play one more hole. Um, Y'all going to make it so I can't even finish this last hole. All right. APOC and Cataclysm. Let's go. Incredible. Y'all y'all two are just like freaking incredible. Alright. Hole eighteen. That kind of stuff right there makes a the pain in the shoulder go away. <laughs> I'll probably need that to help the pain in the shoulder go away, so Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> so Hank, how did those? Uh, how did your rounds go, man? Hank on the Screws Golf uh, is a new uh, YouTube channel. From what I saw, he's doing mostly rookie content. Got a pretty nice setup. Uh, does well describing the holes as he plays them. So uh, definitely give his channel a look. I, I support any, I support all YouTube channels in the community because I, I believe that uh, anybody that's trying to help is worth being noticed. A bigger community is a better community. And Scott F says 199, freeze, you win. <laughs> Scott F, thank you very much, brother. Okay, we got 8.5 wind here. Uh, full left and uh, 3.5 top. Uh, we want our shot to land somewhere up in here. Uh, so we will turn for our wind. Uh, we'll move our shot up a little bit and then we're going to move back our 6.5 rings. So there's 5 and 6.5. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of overpower on this shot and a little bit of right curl. Great to the right, that's fine. We should still be okay right there with that shot. That right, uh, that left curl is going to take that shot up to the edge of the fairway, and from there, uh, we should have uh, a really nice shot to the pin. And uh, Charles says, "Thanks, Scott, 499." <laughs> Dude, you, you <laughs> Charles, man, you the man. Scott F, you the man too. Boom for Charles. Uh, boom for Scott. Y'all should still be spamming both their names in the chat because uh, those guys are insane. Incredible. 999 more from Charles for Pooh. <laughs> well, since it's for Pooh, thank you, Pooh. And thank you, Charles. Booms for both of y'all. Wow. Okay. So we got one more shot here to make. With the Cataclysm, I gotta take this shot before I just can't even make the shot no more. 9.2. Um, I'm trying to even remember. I think I said 1, uh, 1.75 on this next time. Okay, so our students are straight. Yeah, we just gotta take this shot. So that's two rings in. 
So there's 2, 4, and 5.9. Great to the right. I'm just happy to even get this shot off. And, uh, did that stay on the green? Ugh. All right, so we got a long putt to make here. It's hard. It's hard to play when you when you see stuff happening like you saw tonight. It, uh, it's really not a whole lot of don't lot of, a whole lot of words you can say except thank you and just wow. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do with this putt. Oh my gosh. Get in the hole, baby! Overpower putt for the win. We may not have won a gold medal, but we won tonight. That's how we end it, with an overpower putt for the eagle off the edge of the green. Boom. Wow. <laughs> uh, Aaron, you better listen to that wife of yours, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> you just show up to the streams, man, and we'll, I'll be happy with that, man. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that was cool. That was uh, quite a way to end the stream in the last two holes. Um, Scott, F, Charles, y'all are freaking insane. Uh, but that's awesome. Uh, S. Carey Cemetery 76, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome to the family. Um, before I leave here, I got 100, and, well, it's, it's said 114 viewers uh, forever. So I'm not sure exactly how many are in here currently. Uh, I've got two different numbers of what I'm looking at. But if you are in here for the first time, I thank you very much for hanging out with us. Um, I do do content for Rookie, Pro, and Expert on my YouTube channel. I do pre-tournament guides for the tournament, and then I do um, guides during the tournament to help you out once I learn the wins. Um, we got a Facebook community, Golf Clash the 19th Hole on Facebook, 2,800 strong. Uh, if you are new to the game, it's a great and perfect place to start out uh, asking questions and learning how to play the game. We have lots of veterans in there that are there to help you improve your game. So definitely um, encourage you to join our Facebook community if you haven't. And uh, last thing is hit that notification bell on my stream and make sure it sends you notifications um, so that you can be uh, alerted when I do release videos and go live. So, thank you all very much once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Charles Scott, awesome job. Uh, Y'all, like, freaking killed it. Um, wow, was not expecting that, and uh, that was awesome. Thank you to everybody else for being in here. Thank you to the new subscribers. It's awesome to see new subscribers uh, during streams. And uh, we got another guy named Helios. Uh, that is going to stream next. He is another uh, streamer for the 19th hole community. So I would really love it. Y'all do me a favor. Y'all go to Helios' stream and show him some support. Even if it's only a few minutes that you can stay. Y'all, y'all, let's get like 50 people in there. That's only half of y'all. If half of y'all go to his stream, if he sees 50 people supporting him, y'all, I can guarantee you he is going to be like blown away. So let's go blow Helios away. Y'all, thank y'all very much. Um, we're in the top 20 um, currently we had a really crappy tiebreaker uh, we didn't do really great on either of our expert accounts but who cares we had fun and uh, wow so y'all go check out Helios and uh, we'll see you all uh, next week maybe Thursday uh, late night probably uh, for some uh, for some friendlies so we'll see you all there we'll see you on the 19th hole take care